Have you guys ever wanted to learn how to use a maker pen? If not, then leave this video right now. Or if you don't want to, you don't have to. That's just an option, by the way. You don't want to be looking like poor Timmy over there, not even knowing how to use the maker pen. How the frick do you work this thing? You're doing good, Mini Timmy. You're doing good. I'm going to go over all the tools and the maker pen. Just give you a basic understanding because a lot of people want to learn. So we're just going to get right into the video. So to start, you want to go into your backpack and click use on your maker pen. And then just grab it. Now this looks confusing. Don't worry. That's what we're going to be covering today. As you can see, there's different things down here. You got tools, palette, configure, logging, this room which we don't have to worry about the this room thing yet because that's just part of the watch so we'll first start with the tools menu so we got create so we can draw a cube if we go to the palette you can choose any shapes actually let's just do cube for this tutorial if you click on create you could just draw out a cube that is pretty cool and you click done when you want to stop drawing it then you got a cube now, the next thing is there's a select tool. Now it's gonna have like a yellow laser. You can point at this and you'll see it says options. You can make it a vention, copy or eyedropper. But if you get two shapes, which I'm about to show you, you get two shapes, that's two different shapes, right? Select, we'll select this shape and we'll select this shape. You'll see merge shapes. That basically makes both of these shapes into one. So now we have two blocks, that's one shape. That's how that select tool works, or you can just select an item to move it maybe, if it's connected to other things. But yeah, that's really how you use the select tool. So next you got the connect tool. The connect tool is what you use for circuits. If we go into our palette, click on circuits, just literally get a random circuit, like inverse lerp, Inverse lerp unclamped, we don't know. Go back to tools and connect, so you just get out CV2 chips. And basically, you can wire stuff. That's how you use CV2. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to use this stuff, but that's what the connect tool does, if you were wondering. So the next tool you have is the configure tool. You'll see a purple laser. Configure a cube or any type of build you've done. And that's gonna pop up here. You can turn it to environment, Decoration, which makes you can pass through it. Physical, basically, what this does is you can just throw it around because it's physical. You can make it grabbable. You can make it climbable. You can make it support wall run. You can make it support teleport. You can freeze it, room owner lock, add tags to it, room key options, which is like selling stuff. You can respawn it, hide during game, so that means the cube will be gone when you are in a game. You can, can modify the circuits. So say you have some circuits and you have a tag and you're using that tag to maybe make it fly. You just add a tag and you click can modify circuits so it works with circuits. Transform. Now this, it's basically all of this stuff. So transform is the move tool, the scale tool, the rotation tool, and the manipulate tool. So it's basically the move tool, the rotate and the scale tool in one tool. I've said tools too much, but yeah, that's what that does. Move, what move does is you'll see like green arrow, red arrow, blue arrow. Uh, that basically is the direction you can move it. Move it up, we can move it sideways, or we can um, get the blue and move this one. Also, you can move it like this with that blue thing. And if you get this red, it's just on this wall. So yeah, it, it just, that's what that does. And then you have the rotate tool. So this rotates the cube or whatever on its axis. The green, hover over it and hold the trigger and you can rotate. You can do it this way, the blue way. The white just rotates it anyway. Now we're gonna go into the scale tool. Now the scale tool is basically makes the block bigger or you can make it smaller. Bring this out so this side's bigger. Bring this out so this side's bigger. The middle scales it, just the whole thing. That's the skill tool. Now, this is one of the most useful tools, the clone dash. So click this white and hold it. You make another cube. Yep, yeah, so I cloned the cube. Now this red just clones this cube out this way. Same with the green, just clones it up. And these arrows with the line, flip it. So it's on the other side, as you can see. That's kind of cool. That's how you use the clone. It basically just click one of these and it will duplicate it. And these arrows flip it. So say we have a wall 
So we have like a diagonal wall. If we click the flip, it's gonna diagonal on this side. It kind of makes sense. Recolor, as you can see, these cubes are boring. These cubes are boring. They're just orange, okay? So if you click recolor, you can choose a color. So let's just do like my favorite color green, okay? You can choose the material by clicking right here. Let's do carpet and then just click on it. And now we got green blocks. This turns up the material size. Look at that and look at that. See, it just turns up the material size. You can make it as small as it can. Let's go small. And it's basically just blank because there's like no material. But yeah, that's how you use that. Now freeze, right? Click on it, click on the cubes. It freezes them in place because in games, sometimes they'll fall over. Sometimes you can just grab them out of nowhere. But now you can't. If I try to grab it, it's going to say object frozen, which is what you want to do with every prop you have in your game. Next, we have make invention. Basically, you know what invention is. If you don't, it's uh, maybe a cool stuffed animal you made with the maker pen. You'll make an invention so people can buy it for themselves. This just takes you through the steps. You just select the object that you want. Just follow the steps. Just click on the object, object selected, and then just keep clicking next, and then you'll be able to make an invention. And then to unfreeze your objects, because you have to do that for this next part, just click on it again, and it'll say unfreeze. The manipulate tool is basically a better version than the scale. So if you want to just put this side out more, like you just want to have this side out and not the whole thing scale, this just does that. So it brings it out. You can bring it up. Um, you could bring it this way. Yeah, so that's how you use the manipulate tool. This next tool is going to be fairly obvious. The delete. Just click on a cube you want, and it deletes. But you can't do it to the frozen ones. And yeah, that's um all the tools. Edit is basically click on it. Okay, let's actually unfreeze it first. The edit tool is basically... If you have two objects, like say you have this cube, you have this cube and this cube down here connected to each other. Basically, you drew it and you merged them. So now they're one shape, these two ones. If you want to uh, scale one of them only and leave the other one normal, that's what it, edit. it edits that one you want. So I'll just manipulate and I'll just bring it up. That's how you do the edit tool. If you see on your watch the undo, it just undoes what you just did. That's pretty simple. So there's a lot on the maker pen. There's a lot of stuff you can learn, right? This create tool settings, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Uh, we're just showing how to use it, basics. I might go over that in another tutorial, but in this tutorial, we're not gonna be going over that. Palette. Shapes. That's pretty straightforward. You got all your shapes. You got like a spear, a cylinder, a wedge, pyramid, hemisphere, cone, pipe, donut, half pipe. And a diamond tube and ribbon. Those are just all the shapes. You don't need to worry about that. I'm just showing you what the maker pen and how to find stuff. So these are the shapes. If you go to palette, click on shapes. This will show you the currently selected is a ribbon. Swatches. Basically, you can save colors. So instead of going to the recolor tool and recoloring it, you can save the exact color you put on something by going to the recolor and whatever you make, just click save as new swatch. And then that will make a saved color. Props. This is simple. Okay. You just got props everywhere. You got a, 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 a Lambo or whatever. <laughs> you got a AC. Andy Standy, okay? Got a canvas, right? Got a backstop, right? Bar stool. 
barrel. Scroll down, you got more. Move out of the way. You got a button, bro. You got a couch, bro. You got a shelf. You know, that's the props. They're just already made stuff, as you can see. Oh. Farewell, bookshelf. Farewell, couch. Oh, shoot. That didn't work. Oh, uh, yeah. That's how you use the props. Inventions. These are where you can make inventions. You can find your inventions that you own. So, I own these. Well, like, I bought them. Here's some... St Gosh. No! I don't want running up that hill. Uh. <laughs> okay. Well, these are stores. So, these are some things you can buy on the invention store with stuff. Mine basically means your inventions published, your published inventions, ones you've downloaded and certified. Circuits. So circuits is how you can make, it's like coding for rec room. Basically, that's what it is. So you got interaction volumes, Set interaction prompt. Hmm. Is valid. Right? You got that. Is valid. Laser pointer. Get enabled. So these are all the chips in the game. Right here. Circuit components. So these are like a button, right? It has a circuit board that you can use. Emitter. Same thing here, you got a circuit board. So those are like props. These are commonly used chips and then so on, so on. CV1, if you don't, don't, ugh, if you don't know what CV1 is, it's basically like the first circuits in the game. Like these, you might see these chips sometimes. And yeah, these are just circuits v1 these are the new ones these are the old ones don't get that confused okay game chips basically this whole is just this whole like section is just circuits so you can look at that stuff i'm just showing you how to use everything i'm not it's not a follow along tutorial <laughs> search you could search stuff so let's get Let's search a chip, a CV2 chip. Get position, that's a chip, bam. Collision, data, get position. Get player, world UI, secondary bar color. Th that's how you search. It's pretty straightforward to that. And these are just all the shapes, props, inventions, components, circuits you can get. Okay, now, logging. Wait, okay, so the configure thing, you configure an object with this tool. Okay, logging. Say you're doing circuits and you wire something wrong or something doesn't work. It will show up here. It's gonna say, not put correctly or something like that. That's how you know if something's wrong with your chips this room is straightforward hopefully this tutorial helped you if it did comment grimace shake okay just comment grimace shake just just do it please help me bye bye